Welcome to Dr. Jester Talks, and I'm gonna talk about something more positive after, well, many negative videos in regards to retard bullshit, and one that I was supposed to upload here on YouTube, but I ended up talking about things that I shouldn't talk about, and be me being afraid of getting yeeted out of YouTube as of yet. And I decided to upload it on an exclusive platform, so maybe there's only one video today, I don't know. Either way, here I'm gonna talk about something quite positive, really, really positive. It's No Man's Sky. Shit, I hit the microphone. <laughs> Oopsie-daisy. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Anyway, uh... It's quite positive. It's something that started quite badly. <laughs> it was a massive shit. It was okay. It was good. I played it quite a lot. But uh, in the end, it was lackluster. But as years went on, more updates came out and they've managed more than redeem themselves. Well done, Hello Games. Hello Games. Well fucking done. Anyway, I'm gonna go show the trailer, I'm gonna talk it a little bit, and then we move on. Either way, it is, uh, not doxing myself, hopefully. Version 3.5. There you go. The Prism's update. Why is it? The fuck? A visual overhaul for No Man's Sky. There you go. Explore new detailed cave biomes. I, I thought at the beginning, in the first game, that the, definitely the cave on or inside the cave were so eh, so uh, not that great it was interesting because temperature would be affected and things like that but in the end it wasn't something worthwhile you could go and explore but uh, it was more of the same thing the initial in the very first game not the first game but the very f release on the initial release it was so eh. and you could get lost in some time and you could get then go on and throw some grenade launcher and dig yourself out and you couldn't go very deep either the depth was very uh very shallow and in fact one of the other complaints i have i'm gonna address here in the video as well but either way let's go geometric lighting effects that looks awesome. Why is my computer struggling Blind with the video? Can now become pets and be ridden. Eh, okay, that's definitely uh, an interesting mechanic. Ooh, some clipping over here. But either way, um, it's an interesting mechanic. But one of the problems I have with this is that they are focusing on that instead of giving us the ability of to customize the ships we want. That's one of the things I want. Uh, you could obviously go and take the uh, a seed number from somebody else on the internet and add it to your save, but uh, you still you're still not allowed to customize or add the parts to your ship as you want it, even the color itself. Meanwhile, you can customize your character, and well, now you can ride animals or pets but you still cannot customize your ship or your freighter or your frigate or whatever ship, mothership you have. New rain effects fuck your computer, light. stop doing that shit. What the fuck? The surfaces becoming wet. What the fuck? What's going on? Why, uh, why is it so, so... Let me reload this. What time did this stop? 28 seconds. All right, let's reload this. Oh, fucking shit, and this time, uh, let's see, let's see, god damn it, stop ruining it, oh, oh, ah, oh, there you go, no, there you go, god damn it, Harry see, fur rendering increased I like the reflection that they added to the water, oh, I managed to stop just at the nick of time, either way, look at this, this is, uh, this is quite awesome, Light is refracted realistically by glass and liquid. I like that. They, they definitely added quite a lot of improvement in graphical improvement. I also like the improvement on the... Oh, nice fur. 
the, the improvement of the clouds, albeit the clouds in here, uh, they were al already updated from the previous one or two updates ago. Anyway. Mode has been improved to take even more... This, this is what I have a problem with. The planets are way too close together and that's usually not what you find in space, in reality. Okay, I understand that this is what they wanted to do go with to give uh, better visuals more in yeah like the the woman says here more all sparring images and things like that obviously i understand but i wanted it more realistic kind of like what you get on elite but i also wanted to explore this star itself to go and visit the star of this of the star system of the solar system and uh, solar system is more system but it's star system uh, yeah you get it but it, uh, i wanted to go and explore it and instead uh, we don't it seems to be only a 2d image based on the background the randomly generated background and uh, i found that disappointing really I wanted to go and visit like I do in Elite, but in Elite, you only now you get to explore the planets. And it's multiplayer and things like that, so you don't get mods, but eh, it's good. All inspiring images. Again? Thousands of distant stars are now visible in space and night skies. Well, at least that much New is better. show greater depth than detail. And... That's also an improvement. Uh, that's a huge improvement to the addition of the multiplayer because in the the first release it was only alluded to, or it gave you the idea that you were in a multiplayer, but when you you were not, uh, well, technically it never actually bothered me that much having the multiplayer or the co-op things. Never bothered me that much because I'm mostly of a solo player. But I like the depth that they added to the space stations because before it was pretty much everything the same and you had you had one or two a couple of NPCs and it was pretty dead. But now not so any longer. It's actually much better. That looks good too. Okay, I could see some popping in. Oopsie daisy. And draw distances. Particle effects have been enhanced. That, now that's an improvement. That would be awesome. Uh, there's a planet that I started to colonize with myself and created my, my base. And unfortunately, it seems they don't have quite um, a way to make the game understand that just because I have a, a ceiling that is two floors, uh, two or three floors high, doesn't mean that the weather should be the same as outside, even though I am inside. Yeah. For instance, you can't make um, a building that is too tall without ceilings interspace between levels. Otherwise, uh, it will act as if you were outside. And it's uh, on a on a dry, desert-ish planet that I wanted because I wanted to experience the staying inside while there is a dust storm outside. I thought that was awesome, but uh, having that tiny little pickle was a bit of a problem. And I ended up abandoning the, the game because of that. Anyway, let's go. Space interiors have been improved with new reflective materials in light. Yeah, this is this was pretty much the generic stuff. Albeit they change, there's still others, but apparently this might still be in there. And you still cannot customize your ship! You have to go to a random alien, you have to talk to them and buy their ship instead of being on a ship seller or a Second hand, yeah. Only get second hand ships. I want. I want to to be able to buy a brand new ship that I designed. Kind of like in your truck simulator, right? That's the, exactly my my point. I want to be able to do that. Anyway, I think that's about cover it. 
Oh, and by the way, this is an infrared, so this is not visible on my eyeballs because I, I am not able to view infrared. This is for the Track IR 4 that I bought it on my wage as a part-time guy fixing computers back in the UK. See? This is awesome for simulators. And one other thing that I want to talk about, I want to be able to have Track IR on No Man's Sky. I, I don't know if they actually added joysticks as well. I think they haven't, or have they? I, I think I need to check it out. Either way, I think this is a quite an interesting take or an interesting improvement on the game. Either way, thank you for... No, oh, I fucked up the outro again. Anyway, if you like this type of content, stay right here on fucking youtube.com forward slash Dr. Chester because I had a better, more stuff for today, but unfortunately I ended up opening my big fucking mouth and said something that I shouldn't have. Anyway, so the, that video is now uh, an exclusive for bitch.com forward slash Dr. Chester and minds.com forward slash Dr. Chester because that, on those places I couldn't say it without getting yeeted or flagged or something like that. Either way, Thank you for thank you for watching. Have a very fucking good night.